Reopening schools comes with its challenges, especially when someone tests positive for coronavirus. Tonight, 10 News reporter McKinley Struther followed a student who tested positive. Months ago, students walking across campus seemed like it might not be a reality this fall. Reopening schools and maneuvering among the changes has its challenges. Challenges Radford University freshman Faith Minton and her father know all too well. I was just really nervous and I was really angry. Minton was tested for COVID-19 this week after one of her friends tested positive. As she awaited her results, the campus immediately moved her into an isolation dorm. I just hope no other parent has to go through what we've gone through. Um, it's heartbreaking to hear your 17 year old daughter crying on the phone. The quick move and adjustment weren't easy with confusion over delivered meals, connectivity for online classes and more. Radford University officials acknowledge these tough changes, saying they will continue to provide support for students as everyone adjusts to expectations, but say the moves are to keep everyone safe. It does look different. It's a different semester than we've had in years past with masks and physical distancing, but it's still very much a special semester and it can continue to be so. This week, other major universities announced classes will be moved online. NC State, UNC Chapel Hill, and Bluefield College altering their plans. As for the Mintons, it's all about surviving the virus now and then deciding what's best for them moving forward. How do you feel about going back to campus once you recover? I would like to in theory, but at this point, I'm just like, I don't know if it's in my best interest to. Reporting on McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you. By the way, Minton received a positive coronavirus result. After leaving campus, Minton and her family are all quarantined in their home.